Hey guys, welcome to another Walk-In Wednesday. I actually had this boxed PPK come in on Wednesday, and uh, it made me think about the fact that I really need to uh, do, uh, do a video on this particular box versus the later box, because these are both party leaders. Now, uh, to start off, the, the story of the party leaders, I already did a video. You want to make sure you go back and watch that. Who were the party leaders? Why were they issued these weapons? But a party leader PPK is probably the ultimate collector's prize. Um, and if you watch that video, I talk about the first variation of party leaders was actually the RZM marked PPK. I've had RZM marked PPKs before. Uh, very rare to get one in the original box. This box is a bit tattered. And it has what we call the bow tie la label. Wonder how it got its name. Obviously, it looks like a bow tie. And the one thing about these early gun, uh, early box guns, they were handwritten serial numbers. Handwritten usually in pencil or black ink. Uh, most of them I see are handwritten in pencil. Uh, now, you might ask, well, couldn't somebody just erase that and rewrite? Yes. And that's why these particular variations sell for less than the green, what we call the green label, um, which has a printed serial number. Uh, these are more desirable because they're less easily faked. But if we just go with the value of a box gun um, and the numbering, numbering by the way is always that uh, old Germanic style, again can be replicated today. And this one is numbered to match the gun. So let's take these apart. Also, you'll see MIT signal, that's a signal indicator. So it is with the signal indicator pin. And um, it is a bow tie label, hand numbered to the gun. Now, the interior is pink. You can see the bright pink interior. Both the top and the bottom have a pink interior. It comes with a cleaning rod. This one has the actual original paper that it was wrapped in. Most times uh, the paper's gone or disintegrated. This is the original manual. Actually, the manual date is 37, and this gun was made in 35. So this manual might have been thrown in later, but this is an, orig an original ma manual from 1937. Uh, we then find the cleaning kit which is, has a Walther factory on the outside of it. Later, they just went to a Walther banner, but in this case, it was uh, the early tin, and inside we see that milk can oiler and some kind of, they call it horsehair, uh, maybe it is, feels like insulation to me, but uh, you see the milk can uh, oiler with the horsehair. That's the, the tin that came with this gun. Uh, it, all, it always has the spare magazine. And here's the gun itself. It is an RZM. RZM was marked, that was the uh, purchasing department for the Nazi party. And so this was the original early party leader PPK. Uh, there was 30,000 of these ordered from the factory and distributed to party leaders. And again, if you want to find out more about that, you can watch that video. It comes in the right serial range. And you can see on the back the signal indicator pin. Uh, that, that just is when there's a cartridge loaded in there, the pin sticks out. When it's empty, the pin goes, goes in. It retracts. So that's the RZM. Now this is, uh, this is a, a second variation party leader. And this box is a little later. Again, you notice the green label, no longer handwritten, but now printed. And it says, without signal indicator. No idea why some were with or without. I guess it was a, an option you could choose. Do you want the signal indicator pin or not? This one is without the signal indicator pin. This box is in a little better shape, and you can see the interior is yellow instead of pink. So it's a later variation, and that is correct. This is the cleaning rod, same as before. This time, no paper with it. And you can see the manual, also dated 1937, but that is actually probably correct because this gun was made in 1938, so they would have printed the label before. Um, you can see it also has the earlier uh, tin with the factory on it, and inside we find basically the same thing, which is the milk can oiler and the horsehair. Uh, <laughs> what do you do with horsehair? I guess you rub it on the gun. Um, 
I would have just used a cloth. I would think it'd be a lot easier and let the horses keep their hair. Um, so uh, here's the uh, spare magazine, which is high polished blued with a, with a uh, Walther banner on it. No caliber this early. Later in the war, they added the caliber underneath the Walther banner. And then the creme de la creme or creme de la creme, depending on your French or not. Uh, this is the party leader PPK and you'll see the very desirable party leader grip. This is uh, the pinnacle of collecting. Um, both party leaders in the original boxes are just phenomenal finds. Uh, this is more valuable, first of all, because the box being uh, printed instead of hand labeled makes it a little more valuable. And people like this party leader grip more than the RZM variation, but both are very desirable. And I'm sure most of my viewers are gonna to wanna to run out and buy one right away. Uh, an expensive proposition, but um, I wish you the best and happy collecting. If you're like me and you can't get enough of this stuff, click here to subscribe. That way we'll send you notification when we do something new or click one of these buttons for recommended videos.